hello my dear student how are you congratulations that you have passed class 7th and you are now in class 8th you have done very well in class 7th and now i hope you will repeat the same in class 8th in class 8th this is your first class and perhaps the first class being taken online because of this lockdown and you would have been enjoying the lockdown with your family at your home staying inside not coming out obeying the orders and instruction by the authorities so we will start the class today in class 8th as far english is concerned you have two books one is honeydew and second one is it so happened so we start with the honeydew in this book honeydew we are going to start the first chapter it is it's jody's fawn and the story is about the home treatment and the compassion and the mercy of a young boy to a fawn often instead of rushing to the doctor to treat a small cut or burn we find quick and effective cures using things available at home can you think of some such home remedies for a cut on your knee so what do you do home remedy means the treatment as and the treatment at home so what treatments are available at home when you got your knee injured or you have got a small cut on your knee when you get burned your arm suppose you are doing something at kitchen or you are doing something with fire and you get a burn what home treatment or the remedy you offer to yourself and what do you do when a bee stings so bees are everywhere and they also sting we know this so when you get a bee sting you you get that part of body swollen so what do you use the treatment we have no doctor immediately so we have to rely on the home treatment similarly this story has some home treatment and the consequences of that home treatment in this story jody's father has bitten by a rattlesnake he quickly kills a doe and uses its heart and liver to draw out the poison jody wonders what will happen to the little fawn left without a mother so this is the basic theme of the story uh, the story is of jody's father when he was bitten by a rattlesnake a rattlesnake are the most a venomous we can say one of the most venomous poisonous snakes in the world called the rattlesnake you would have heard about these dangerous snakes so jody's father is bitten by such a snake he quickly kills a doe doe is a kind of deer and use its heart and the liver to draw out the poison so he knew that home treatment that by the heart and the liver of a doe one can take out the poison from the body so jody's father did the same jody wonders what will happen to the little fawn left without a mother because doe was killed by the father of jody so the young fawn was left all alone in the forest and jody was worried about that fawn who has lost its so the mother so we'll find out what decision did jody take to save that fawn so jumping directly on the story we start jody is allowed his thought to drift back to the fawn he could not keep it out of his mind he had held it in his dreams in his arms he slipped from the table and in his arms he slipped from the table and went to his father's bedside when he lay at rest his eyes were open and clear but the pupils were still dark and dilated jody said how are you feeling pa just fine son old death has gone thieving elsewhere but wasn't it a close save i agree said jody penny said i am proud of you boy the way you kept your head and did what was needed pa yes son pa do you recollect the do and the fawn so jody allowed his thought thoughts to drift back means he kept on thinking about that fawn he could not keep it out of his mind means that thought of fawn remained in his mind he had held it in his dreams in his arms he saw the dreams as if he was keeping that fawn in his arms he slipped from the table and went to his father's bedside and in his dream he thought as if 
the fawn has slipped and dropped from his arms to the table and then the fawn went to his father's bedside penny lay at rest penny is the father of fawn uh, sorry penny is the father of jody so jody jody's father was at rest in his bed his eyes were open and clear but the pupils pupils you know the black part of the eyes were still dark were dark in color because of that incident or the accident that took place in the forest when he was bitten by a rattlesnake so his pupils the, were dark and dilated dilated means flat and white and so wide opened pupils so jody asked to his father how are you feeling pa just fine son old death has gone means the death has came very close to me but now it has gone thieving elsewhere means it will thieve the life someone else means i was spared i was left by the death and death came to some other perhaps he means to say that the death took its course on the door but wasn't it a close save he said it was a close save means i was very it was a narrow escape i saved my life with a close call it was a close call of death i agree said the jody penny said i am proud of you boy the way you kept your head the way you kept your head means the way you thought you handled the situation and did what was needed and you did what was important at the time of need you did you did exactly what you need to do so i am proud of you pa Papa. yes son Papa. So, he said penny when he says that his son remained calm the way you kept your head and did what was needed means you kept yourself calm in a difficult situation jody said pa penny said yes son pa do you recollect the do and the phone recollect means remember means to commemorate to remind to recollect the do and the phone do you remember the do and phone so this was the first part of the story in which you learned some of the difficult word like dripped back to means go back to dilated means enlarged or widened a close save means a narrow escape when you save by a close margin you kept your head means stay calm in a difficult situation so this was the first part of the story we go ahead we go to the next part after learning these words here you can see penny and jody and jody is remembering recollecting that phone it is in the picture so we will learn some more words in the succeeding paragraph that is hemmed in hemmed in means caught in a situation where one can't say no means when somebody ask you for something you are in a confusion but at least you cannot say no means you have to make yourself agree with the person you are hemmed in acrons acrons is a small brown nuts usually given to the pets called acrons i can never forget them the poor dog saved me that certain said the jody's father how can i forget the dog and the fawn because the dog has saved my life pa the fawn may be out there yet it might be hungry and very scared scared means afraid of the things fearful so pa the fawn may be out there yet out there means in the forest the pa the fawn would be in the forest all alone it be hungry and very scared he was very fearful in the forest i suppose so and so i think so as well said the jody's father jody say pa i am big boy now and don't need to drink milk why don't i go and see if i can find the phone and bring it here said the and raise it said the jody penny lay quiet staring at the ceiling boy you have got me hemmed in it won't take much to raise it pa it will soon start eating leaves and acorns you are smarter than the boys of your age we took its mother 
and it wasn't to blame. Surely it seems ungrateful to leave it to starve. Son, I can't say no to you. I never thought I'd live to see another day. Can I write back with Millville and see if I can find it? Tell your ma I said you can go, said the Jody's father. He settled back to the table and sat down. His uh, the mother was pouring coffee for everyone. He said, Ma, Pa says I can go bring back the phone. She held the copy pot in midair. So we will explain the part we have read so far. So this was a discussion between Jody and Penny, means the son and the father. So he says, Pa, the phone may be out there yet. Still, it would be there in the forest. It might be hungry and scared. Means the fawn would be very hungry without uh, without the mother and it would be very afraid of the things in the forest. I suppose so. Means I also think so. Pa, I am big now and don't need to drink milk. So, Jordi says that I am grown up now. I need no milk. So, why don't I go see if I can find the fawn? Means I can give the, all the milk that I take to that fawn. So, if you allow... Uh, I can go and find out that phone and bring it here said the father means do you want to bring that phone here and raise it raise it means look after it to bring the phone at home and look after it because it is now it has no mother Penny lay quiet staring at the ceiling he was laying on his bed quietly and staring means looking intently staring means you look at something for a while it is called staring ceiling ceiling of the room the upper part of the room means when you lay your uh, means when you lay on your bed you stare at the ceiling we also use the ceiling fan the fan that is hung on the ceiling is called ceiling fan so he was laying quite penny was laying quite staring at the ceiling boy you have got me hemmed in hemmed in means when you are in a position when you are caught in a situation where you can't say no hemmed in we have studied this term, this phrase before. The meaning of this phrase is to be in a situation when you can't say no. So he says, boy means my son, you have got me hemmed in. I can't say no. It won't take much to raise it, pa. It will soon start eating leaves and acorns. So very soon if we raise the um, that phone, and see, uh, the boy said to his father that if they uh, look after, if they raise that phone, that will start eating leaves and acorns very soon. You are. So, he said, Penny, when he says that his son remained calm, the way you kept your head and did what was needed means you kept yourself calm in a difficult situation. Jodi said, Pa, Penny said, Yes, son. Pa, do you recollect the do and the phone? Recollect means remember, means to commemorate, to remind, to recollect the do and the phone. Do you remember the do and phone? So this was the first part of the story in which you learned some of the difficult words like dripped back to means go back to, dilated means enlarged or widened. A close save means a narrow escape when you save by a close margin kept your head means stay calm in a difficult situation so this was the first part of the story we go ahead we go to the next part after learning these words here you can see penny and jody and jody is remembering recollecting that phone it is in the picture So we will learn some more words in the succeeding paragraph that is hemmed in. Hemmed in means caught in a situation where one can't say no. Means when somebody asks you for something, you are in a confusion but at least you cannot say no. Means you have to make yourself agree with the person you are hemmed in. Acrons. Acrons is a small brown nurse usually given to the pets called acrons. 
I can never forget them. The poor dog saved me, that's certain, said the Jody's father. How can I forget the dog and the fawn because the dog has saved my life? Pa, the fawn may be out there yet. It might be hungry and very scared. Scared means afraid of the things. Fearful. So, pa, the fawn may be out there yet. Out there means in the forest. The pa, the fawn would be in the forest all alone. It'd be hungry and very scared. He was very fearful in the forest. I suppose so. And so I think so as well, said the Jody's father. Jody say, Pa, I am big boy now and don't need to drink milk. Why don't I go and see if I can find the phone and bring it here, said the, and raise it, said the Jody. Penny lay quiet, staring at the ceiling. Boy, you have got me hemmed in. It won't take much to raise it, Pa. It will soon start eating leaves and acorns. You are smarter than the boys of your age. We took its mother and it wasn't to blame. Surely it seems ungrateful to leave it to starve. Son, I can't say no to you. I never thought I'd live to see another day. Can I write back with Millville and see if I can find it? Tell your ma I said you can go, said the Jody's father. He settled back to the table and sat down. His uh, the mother was pouring coffee for everyone. He said, Ma, Pa says I can go bring back the phone. She held the coffee pot in midair. So we will explain the part we have read so far. So this was a discussion between Jody and Penny, means the son and the father. So he says, Pa, the fawn may be out there, yet still it would be there in the forest. It might be hungry and scared, means the fawn would be very hungry without, uh, without the mother and it would be very afraid of the things in the forest. I suppose so, means I also think so. Pa, I am big now and don't need to drink milk. So Jody says that I am grown up now, I need no milk. So why don't I go see if I can find the fawn, means I can give the all the milk that I take to that phone so if you allow uh, I can go and find out that phone and bring it here said the father means do you want to bring that phone here and raise it raise it means look after it to bring the phone at home and look after it because it is now it has no mother Penny lay quiet staring at the ceiling he was laying on his bed quietly and staring means looking intently staring means when you look at something for a while it is called staring ceiling ceiling of the room the upper part of the room means when you lay your uh, means when you lay on your bed you stare at the ceiling we also use the ceiling fan a fan that is hung on the ceiling is called ceiling fan so he was laying quiet and he was laying quiet staring at the ceiling boy you have got me hemmed in hemmed in it's when you are in a position, when you are caught in a situation where you can't say no, hemmed in. We have studied this term, this phrase before. The meaning of this phrase is to be in a situation when you can't say no. So he says, boy, means my son, you have got me hemmed in. I can't say no. It won't take much to raise it, pa. It will soon start eating leaves and acorns. So very soon, if we raise the that phone, and so he's, uh, the boy said to his father that if they look after, if they raise that phone, that will start eating leaves and acorns very soon. You are so this was the first part of the story. We will continue this story in the next video. Till then, I give you some homework. You please note down. You may be having pen and pencil or pen or uh, pen and a notebook with you. So note down the homework. You have to find out all the hard words, difficult words from this part of story. And with the help of the dictionary, you will write the meaning. Other than this, you will also write the summary of this part of the story in your notebook. So whenever you will come to school, that work will be checked. And 
if you will not do then you will be punished if you will do then you will be applauded so thank you for watching this hope you will continue to study so stay at home stay safe thank you much